Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of my gold flipping guide. So this is day 3. First thing we are going to do is going to check our mail to see if we sold anything, if we won any of our bids. So let's see now. <coughs> so it seems that we sold one blacksmith hammer and three white parchments. We got outbid on almost everything. The only thing that we won is the pattern which I again made a mistake. It turns out that the pattern is uh, very common and uh, it, it's not a good flipping material, let's say it this way. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off my mail. Going to get all the gold that I bit so I can return it. As you can see, this is when I realize that the pattern is not really worth it, but that's it. So, with my previous videos, I had problem with the sound and my voice. It was very hard to hear, so I tried to fix things up. And as you may have figured it out already, I broke it. So I'm doing a voiceover for this one. So I'm going to restock. I saw the blacksmith hammer, I'm getting another one. You now my plan is when I reach a amount of gold that I'm comfortable with, I'm going to stop selling vendor items. I'm just going to do flipping because this is what the series is all about. So I'm just going to quick post all the things that I have. As you can see the pattern red wine rope, you see my profit is next to nothing but Everyone makes mistakes, you know, we are not perfect. This is how go it's made. You have to make mistakes, see what you have done. And next time don't do the same mistake again. So my target is to get 1 million gold this way. I'm going to see how much time is going to take me. The add-ons that I'm using, as I told you in the previous episode, are Trade Skill Master, which is a great add-on. I really enjoy using it. It's a bit time-consuming to get into it, but... No, it's worth it. So, the next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another vendor search because we have a bit more gold to work with so I can get more things from the list for a bigger profit I'm going to fast forward the scan here because as I got feedback it's not really enjoyable to, to watch how the action house scans so here I'm showing you I have 24 gold hopefully I will get everything from this list I think the gold wasn't enough to get everything, but in two tries I managed to get. So I'm going speeding things up again so you don't have to watch the same thing again twice. Okay. The other website that I use very often is uh, the Undermine Journal. You see when you go into that website you can uh, target your room and there is uh, different tabs. One of them is Great Deals. This is basically the flipping tab. You can see what is posted for an unusual price. I don't say for lower than usual. I say unusual because sometimes there are items that are worth 1000 gold and they are posted for 10,000. So I'm just finishing up getting the rest of the items on this list. So here as you can see there are items on 100% of vendor value. That means that the item is posted for the same price which is his vendor price. So if I get it for let's say the golden car for 25 silver, I'm going to sell it for 25 silver. So the profit is not really worth it. So, I decided to come and check out the crazy cat lady. She's uh, a great person, 
a bit lonely. This is where she stays and the best thing about her is that she sells cats. She sells cats which are pets and they can be sold. They are they cost almost nothing. But lots of people don't know where the vendor is or are just too lazy to get to it. So I'm going to get one of each and I'm going to try to sell it for big profit. As you can see, uh, the orange tab is selling for 124 gold and so on. So I'm going to make a big profit. You see the other one is 70 gold. I'm going to pause them real quick. I'm going to Stormwind Town. So here on the way to the action house, I thought to myself, why not take a bit more vendor items? So on my main, I'm an alchemist and I know how people are just very lazy sometimes to get the regions that they need. So I'm going to get 20 crystal vials. I believe that was the name. So I can, you can see I get it for how much? One silver and 43 copper and I get one gold profit from each so I don't see a reason not to do it lazy people give me your money I won't return it except if it's an investment so I'm going to post my actions really quick And if you like the content that I do, I got a lot of feedback, positive and negative. I'm trying to work better. Ah, you can see the Cornish Rex, the cat carrier, doesn't have any seller at the moment. So I decided to pick a ridiculous price. Because someone might buy it. I can get, you see, from one silver. No, it was 30 silver. I can get 390 gold, which is huge profit if we could get this we are really going to start off with our flipping stuff because at the moment we are doing basic stuff just to get some gold that we can work with so as you know every firm every market needs capital so we are getting it at the moment slow and steady but it's working and so guys if you like my videos if you like if you want to see how am I going to go, if I could reach 1 million, like, subscribe, comment. If you don't like, if you like something about the videos, I'm expecting your feedback because it's really important for me. Okay guys, this is it for now. See you next episode.